Okay, so if you've seen any of our other videos, you know that we have a 1975 GMC Motorhome Eleganza 2. It's 26 feet long. And we're going to do a series of videos on some of the improvements we made, but we're going to start with the interior today. We added a keyless lock entry. Now if you've seen the other videos, you know what the door started like. So we've prettied it up. This is a peel and stick. So it keeps the sun out and gives you some more privacy until we figure out exactly how we want to put a curtain in here. But for now, it works really well. So we're going with the original beach bungalow theme that we wanted. And here's what it looks like today. So we're just going to do a little tour. Slam the door closed. I actually did this video yesterday, left the door open, so I'm starting over. We have cellular blinds that we get from blinds.com online to keep the sun out. They go all the way up. And then they just kind of latch right here nicely behind our display case slash televator. Okay. So we replaced, well, we replaced everything. We have all new wiring. We have LED puck lighting in the ceiling. We have new Max fans that turn on automatically at 78 degrees and they're reversible so you can if I'm burning breakfast <laughs> it takes the smoke out and if it's needed to be cooled down it brings in fresh air we made new curtains bought these new little tracks on Amazon and had my friend Cheryl help me sew well she didn't help me she sewed the curtains for us with the Velcro to attach them in the middle. We painted the dash, added a dash cover. We put in a head unit that will have a backup camera attached in addition to being able to access um, Wi-Fi signals when we're driving for GPS and all that other good stuff. We stayed with the Shag 70s theme and have a gray shag rug in here. The driver's seat swivels so it's extra seating in here to visit. This has become his footstool unfortunately, my seat. <laughs> All right. So here's our other windows. You see the GMC. One of the advantages of the GMC is the large windows so you can just see everywhere. I love that part. There's our TV antenna. These are wall-hugging recliners that only need to be three inches away from the wall and recline fully out. For comfort, we got them at Rec Pro. We put in all new flooring. The little throw rugs. Because you can get little in here. <laughs> we use the peel and stick wallpaper to go kind of more with our beach theme here. I found our old puka shell bracelets that we got in Hawaii on a vacation I'm using those for curtain holders. I have a fake piece of coral because coral is the thing for your 35th anniversary. So when we were we spent our 35th year of marriage restoring this thing so we put in a piece of coral. And the net is to hide the little command hooks that we use to hang our keys. Blend right in. Here's our command center for the generator, battery volts, water tank, holding tank, propane. We have our Berkey, which I love and I've been using in the house. It's a gravity water purifying system. Our yellow teapot kettle. And the picture that we took in Grand Turk were inspiration pieces that we were able to work around for the color and just kind of more of the theme. 
we put in a residential faucet, which of course I love. Turn. We have the bucket. This is, I believe, an original sink. So here's the bucket for my uh, rinse water. But, you know, you have to reuse everything in here. Okay. So we have LED lighting up there too, and we replaced these lights with the LED lights that we got on Amazon. All bulbs. Paper towel holder. Great, great. Here's our kitchen storage up above. Like an Airstream, it's all on a curve, so the storage makes it a little bit tricky because you have wasted space. But we're working on it and figuring it out. This is actually what it started with. All pink. Pink carpet, pink walls, pink furniture. So I made a little canvas piece so we never forget how far we've come in the decoration of this. Our stovetop is a propane three burner stovetop. And we took out the oven and put in a convection oven. Here's our here's the junk door aspect. Then here's the kitchen aids. The silverware tray from Joseph Joseph online. I love this, how everything just sticks right in here. You're not taking up a whole cupboard for silverware. Everything fits in here. Here's our bowls, our plates, the mugs we love for hot and cold. Here's some more storage with kitchen and food storage. This is a dual purpose colander, salad bowl. Love this thing. I was worried it wasn't going to fit because I bought this way ahead of time. Okay. Under the sink storage, one will be recycling, one will be garbage. And then here's our heater. Okay. So what was originally the vacuum system is now our pantry closet for our spice rack and down. And I measured so that I know salad dressing bottles will fit here. <laughs> Here's our checklist for moving day so we don't forget the little details when we're heading out. And let's hang that puppy back up. Then our refrigerator. This is a canvas we had printed of a photo we took in Cabo and it fits on here perfectly and then we put in a thin cork board for the refrigerator part. We've got different buckets, pails, baskets, so things don't just roll around when we're driving. And then the freezer has ample space for everything. And then, because I forgot to paint the border, we added this duct tape. <laughs> Why surprise him when he got home? There's duct tape on there. And that's what we used on the door also to cover up any little errors that we may have made as we were doing this complete DIY project. There's nothing like a good roll of duct tape. It's very forgiving. Here's our my hat holder. Okay, so when you open this door, it leads to the bedroom area. We have our closet or our storage cupboards and our closet, which we put in a motion detector light. Shelves the Instant Pot, storage for miscellaneous tools down here. Here's our inverter. There's plenty of storage. And in here, it's part of the brains of the organization, our solar brain. This is what I call it. Fuse box. All those goodies are in here. We'll be doing another video on the solar install and all that went along with that. And then here's our bedroom. I have a stepping stool <laughs> that I use. Um, and then this area down here has a lot of storage. And before we finish the bed, we replace the, the water pump 
since we were already able to get in there easily. And we can still get in, you just have to empty this, but this is where the tools will go. The gray tank hose box will go in here, all the tools. And here's our Lucid 10 inch gel foam mattress, which we love. And we have blackout blinds on the side that we had it cut at Home Depot to fit. And then a large yellow one that goes down in the back, gray on the side. And then we've put in a, our grandson helped us install this drop down TV that we can watch TV while we're in bed. There's storage on both sides. Fire extinguisher. There's fire extinguishers everywhere. The remotes for the other Max fan, which is in the bedroom. And the TV are Velcroed on, thanks to Dawson's advice. And here's my little <laughs> bedroom nightstand so I can charge my phone. Put my glasses here. And he has two, they're folded up now, but two drop down um, cup holders. So one for coffee or a soda or a water bottle. And then we installed a cell phone. Hmm, you know, a cell phone antenna to get better service when you're out in the boondocks. How's that for faking my way through it? We put up fake faux brick. It'll keep it warmer, it'll keep it cooler, and it'll definitely keep it cleaner when we're crawling in and out of bed. No shoes. All right, so then you turn around and open this door again. And here's the bathroom. It's too light, I think, right now. Anyway, that's a motion detector light also. And here is our bathroom. And our, I love this, our airhead toilet. A compostable, composting airhead toilet. So no black water. They have to worry about this. RV only has a combined black water, gray water tank. So now our tank is available completely for dishwasher, dishwater, shower water, everything else, but we don't have to worry about flushing a black tank. So the urine is diverted down those two holes into the urine bucket. When it shows that it's full here, you just pull this out, put a lid on it, take it out and dump it. And then there's a couple options for the big job. The door opens over here. There's cocoa core. There's just cocoa core in there, or you can use a certain kind of peat moss. So you can just go, or you can set these coffee filters that they supply, and you can go to the bathroom. Then when you open up the door, gravity just pulls everything down inside. Then you close the lid back up, or the trap door. And then you just give a few spins on this handle, and the cocoa core and everything you've just dumped off, mix up, and there is no odor, as in no odor at all. It's a great system, totally worth it. Anything to not have to deal with a black tank. And there's storage in here. We put in a teak floor mat. Okay, so then, if you open up the closet, oops, sorry, at the same time, you have a changing room, or what I like to call a walk-in closet. So really there's plenty of space. Plus having the door closed, if you're going to bed before the other person, you have some privacy in the back, and they have privacy in the front. Let's close this. So then walking back out, we have this basket unit that we got from Ikea. So the bottom basket is for shoes. The middle basket is supposed to be for the dog. And the top will be our fruit basket. So things don't have to go in the refrigerator. So we have little storage units here, a little basket full of things. We use the back of the chairs for storage. Everything has to be multi-purpose. One of my favorite little storage units that we found is this 1970-something Sears suitcase, makeup case, and we keep our remotes in here. So, the first things we did, we put in indoor track lighting, 
which is fun. I don't know how this video is going to be. Plus, for the televator. So here I am sitting on the recliner. And here comes the televator. This was an IKEA shoe storage unit that we modified, to say the least, <laughs> to make it a TV elevator. And, and it works amazingly well. We're really happy with this. So we can sit in here. Oh, wrong thing here. Exit. Anyway, it works really well. We really like it. Now let's put it back down. Turn off the TV. Perfect. But that's just galaxies. And just bring it back down. Okay, so now everything goes back in its spot because it's a small area. Everything has to get put back or else you have chaos. So I have plexiglass. We cut a piece of plexiglass to fit on top. So this is my little end table. So we put this little treasure chest back. And then our uh, flameless candles go back because you don't, you don't need flame inside a small living area. Let's have safety first, but still the niceness of the candlelight. Well, that's about it. I thank you guys for watching. This is fun. Um, if you like what you see, please hit like, and you can subscribe to our station. We're trying to get some more videos out. We're at the very beginning. This quality certainly isn't going to be professional by any means, but you get an idea of what we've done, and it's all been just us in here, just a total DIY project, you know, with the help of YouTube and um, racking our brains and making changes and making mistakes and fixing them and changing our minds. But to me, it's my favorite little beach spot and I looking forward to living in here full time. And until that time, at least taking the small trips. Thanks for watching.